Do you ever feel lost trying to decide where to save your photos, Google Photos or Google Drive? Both can store your memories, but picking the right one can make all the difference. Each option serves a unique purpose. So which one is right for you? Let's dive in to help you make the choice that fits your needs. For those of us with iPhones, our photos are naturally stored on our Apple devices and or in iCloud. But what happens when we want to get the photos into our Google ecosystem? What are our options and which is the best one? Be sure to stay to the end to learn my favorite trick for getting the photos into your Google Drive. Options for storing photos in Google are Google Photos and Google Drive, both of which can store photos and both count towards your Google storage space limits. So how do I know when to save photos in Google Photos versus Google Drive? Choosing one or the other depends on what you want to do with the photos after you save them. Here are some factors to consider. Google Photos is ideal if your goal is to view the photos digitally on your phone or your computer, and if you want to create albums to view and share digitally. My favorite Google Photos feature includes facial recognition and searching by location that the photo was taken. You can also download and print them from Google Photos, but the quality may not be as good as the original photo you took, depending on your Google Photos settings and how you saved the photos. Google Drive is best for saving photos if you wanna do something with the photos after you save them. Reasons to save your photos in Google Drive are saving the file with the original resolution or highest quality possible, saving the before and after photos with the rest of the client files, sharing your photos with your VA or social media person so that they can use them in their workflow. And then they can put the branded photos in another Google Drive folder as well. Also a reminder that no matter which cloud storage option you use, it is always recommended to have your photos backed up on an external hard drive at your home if you really want to keep them safe. To review, neither one of these two apps can do all the things. But just like everything else, it's important to know how you want to use the photos before deciding where to store them. Google Photos is best for easily viewing the photos digitally, while Google Drive is best for storing the raw files to use in another way. To learn my favorite trick for getting the photos on your phone into your Google Drive, check out the linked video. I look forward to helping you succeed. Mm -hmm.